My name is Michelle Nambiro. I'm the Communication and Media Manager at CAS Regional Program on Energy Security and Climate Change. The ultimate objective of our program is to consolidate and implement CAS activities related to climate policy and energy security on the African continent. So with the support of the German Embassy in Nairobi, CAS has been able to raise awareness about the problem of plastic pollution but also we've been able to inform about the possible solutions to reduce plastic pollution in Africa. We see business models based on the principles of circular economy offer enormous economic potential for African countries as much needed jobs could be created in this sector. My name is Mogo, Mogo Macharia. I am 35 years old and I'm the founder of Norma Green Plastics. So we are in the recycling industry and what we are currently making is our poles that are used mainly for fencing, but they can also be used for other uh, small needs in construction and that kind of thing. Entrepreneurship has its challenges. The main challenge, I think, is just the hurdles you have to go through, um, the learning curve. Then once you know what you need to do, then the licenses and regulations and everything, especially when dealing with waste, the regulations are quite stringent. In manufacturing, uh, finances are a problem, um, especially when you think of the operational costs to keep running. You need raw material, you need uh, to pay your people, you need uh, to pay for energy, you need to pay for space and that kind of thing. And also people just having reservations. Uh, people know what they know. They know wood, they know concrete, but once they hear plastic, they... Plastic, how does that work? In terms of the challenges we face, and one of them being, uh, say, finances. If, for example, the government was to subsidize the machinery that we use, the equipment we use, uh, make it duty-free, for example, then that would go a long way into helping. And also looking into ways of subsidizing um, the taxation rate for industries in this sector. Um, if the margins are not that high at the moment, we spend money that will have been used to do much, much more in line with our work, right? So in terms of just helping us out financially, um, the government has a lot of power in terms of uh, subsidizing the taxation, the duties we pay and the energy costs. Uh, but also when you look at the frameworks, for example, the Sustainable Waste Management Act, has uh, extremely good um, uh, suggestions on how to handle waste. So the African Union Agenda 2063 underscores the continent's priority to adopt sustainable technologies for environmental and climate protection. This includes the concept of uh, circular economy, which advocates a redesign of the reproduction cycle of materials. The aim ideally is to produce materials such as plastic in a closed cycle that conserves resources. It means a reduction of waste to a minimum. Uh, when a product reaches the end of its lifespan, the materials are kept within the production cycle and used again and again. This means uh, they create further value for the product. So if we work with counties uh, for getting their waste, plastic waste, we can give it back to them in terms of uh, furniture for their schools and parks. We can give it in terms of signboards for the roads. We can uh, give it back as tiles for the roofs. Um, we do know that we cannot stop plastic production, uh, but we can reduce, recycle, reuse.